The Nile is Egypt's main source of water. That's why the Renaissance Dam built on the river has been a headache to the government here. Sudan, a riparian state that benefits from the Nile waters, angered Egypt, which claims its neighbor has sided with Ethiopia. The president of Sudan is an ally of the Brotherhood. He is accused of doing so to prevent the ouster of Brotherhood from power. Egypt is trying to say Sudan back, especially that the dam will affect Sudan's water share. Egyptian Foreign Minister Nabil Fahmi said the historical bond between both countries cannot be broken. But this did not hide the fact a scheduled meeting with interim president Adli Mansour next day was cancelled and Ali Kerti returned to Sudan earlier than planned. I think Sudan is trying to mediate but Ethiopia is not agreeing to any Egyptian proposal. Ethiopia is trying to buy time which is making Egyptians more tense and Sudan is putting pressure on Ethiopians to change their position. There was no breakthrough in Kerti's talks with Egyptian officials on Monday. The Egyptian foreign minister held a press conference on Tuesday to assert Egypt's stance. We did not reach any positive outcome during the meeting with the Sudanese foreign minister. I confirm that Egypt will not allow any breach on its national security and water in particular. The situation could get worse in the next few weeks after Ethiopia announced it will begin filling the dam in April. A process Egyptian experts say will reduce the water flow to Egypt. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.